All right, the truck's packed up. We're getting ready to go on the Michigan uh, youth hunt. Uh, Tyler's gonna go out and get his big buck this year. Last year was the first year Tyler went out uh, for the Michigan youth hunt. And uh, we went down to Jackson. We were able to pick up a 150 pound doe there. Uh, first day, uh, this year he's holding out. He's gonna go for the big one. So, wish us luck. Let's do this thing. No, it's windy today. Hopefully it calms down tomorrow so we can get some hunting in. Just a small little town. But great for hunting. Okay, we're almost there, right Dad? Yep, look at all the fields. Look at the apples in the grove. No wonder the uh, deer love it out here so much. Field to the left and to the right. Excited, we're getting here a little early too, which is good. I want to get out, go we'll scout out the site where they got picked out for us. Mr. Doug's got us a nice uh, pop up line all brushed in out there, and uh, we're gonna go see what that looks like so we know how to get it in, in the morning. Hey, I'm Tyler. Um, we're in a stand somewhere in the middle of a field. Just doing some early scouting to see what we can see. Um, hope to see a big buck tomorrow. First night at Doug at Doug's house, and tomorrow's the first day of youth season. And you gonna be able to sleep tonight? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the first afternoon on the first day of youth season. Um, we've seen a couple deer, but I'm still waiting to shoot a big buck. Hopefully they will walk by this afternoon later on. Did you see any bucks? We saw a four-pointer. Yeah, we let them pet go, right? Yes. And lots of does. Yeah. So now we're just waiting for Mr. Buckler to get over here and pick us up. Well, as Tyler said, the morning hunt was over. We saw a lot of great animals, but just not the one Tyler was looking for. I'm kind of proud of him. He was still looking and holding out for that big one. Uh, could have shot the four-point buck right away this morning, but he decided to hold off. Uh, after the morning hunt, we rode along with Jeff Buckler to assist with some preparation work for the upcoming hunting season. There's always a lot of work to be done. The Bucklers have a great place with over 100 acres to hunt on. Tyler and I are certainly blessed to have friends like the Bucklers to allow us to come out here and hunt this property. If you see, it's just amazing. Uh, the rubs, the scrapes, the sign of deer, and the food plots are just everywhere.
the afternoon hunt was a little slower. We had this little squirrel in front of us uh, eating for about 15-20 minutes, just staring at us. And then all of a sudden he changed his uh, demeanor, dropped his nuts, and uh, the game was on. He looked over and there was a little fawn. <laughs> Nothing big. Well, it wasn't the buck of Tyler's dreams, but uh, it was entertaining to watch for a while. Uh, this little doe hung out with us for uh, quite a while and almost ended up right in the tent with us. Uh, she came right up in investigating, never did get spooked, uh, just kind of hung around with us for about 15-20 minutes and then walked off. It's the last night of the last day of the hunt, and we finally get deer up close and personal, and they busted out. They took off, and we're trying to scratch our heads, trying to figure out what just went wrong. We had these deer right up next to us, um, and now they're gone. Well, it wasn't too much longer, and we saw what happened. Down the river came some kayakers. Well, about a half hour later, the deer started funneling back into the field at the far end. Uh, we had a couple up close, uh, 
just nothing we were looking at shooting. Then all of a sudden a four point came in across the field about 200 yards out. Tried calling him in, uh, just wasn't getting his attention. Didn't see anything, so he wasn't going to come over. Now after watching this buck walk away, we knew we were losing light fast and Tyler decided that he wasn't going to see the buck that he was looking for so he was going to take a doe on the last day, last light. And uh, these three does were out, right out in front of us at about 100 yards. Now Tyler's shooting a single shot 20 gauge open sight and uh, unfortunately we were on the wrong side of each other so we had to work ourselves around but uh, eventually we got out in position and uh, Tyler made a great shot. We couldn't see her, but she was she trying to come across. It's terrible blood there. She might have spun back around and went back out the other way. I didn't see her leave. Oh, there I got her. Ah, see, I wasn't too far off, was I? Well, it's just nice go. Right here. She went like this and came back. Come right back around. I wasn't too far off. Oh, man. Nice big dog. Get in there, tank. Grab it. Well, is it a wide or so? It's that, believe me. <laughs> it's dead, trust me. <laughs> you want to drag it out so you get a... Yeah, yeah. All right, Who's dragging? Well, you are, you shot it. <laughs> it's like asking who's got Grab on that leg right there. Grab that leg. Cool. Ready? Oh, love it. Oh, nice. Good. Nice. Good. Nice. Good. nice. You know you're doing this in the dry heat. <laughs> <laughs> I have blood on my hand. All right, Ty, what do you think? Hold the head up. Here, give me that. Okay. Still warm. Still warm. All right, pretty cool, huh? We got it down. We got it on film. <laughs> cool, huh? I take it behind my rig. I remove the rig. Bloody and hairy. This is a surgical steel thing here, yeah. It is. I got one. I'm down to my no shirt on, no winter. Oh, no. Up in there. This, hey, <laughs> this is how we do it in Michigan. In Wisconsin, boys. This is how we do it in Michigan. Roll them up and get bloody, baby. Yeah. I'll have to sit next you got to you. show the camera. Look, what is this? I'll have to sit next to you in the four wheeler. <laughs> yeah. We even brought water. Clean you up. I brought you nice. down the water. <laughs> Over here. I want to send out a special thank you to the Bucklers, Doug, Jeff, and Therese, for inviting us into their home and making us feel so comfortable, and allowing Tyler another opportunity to get another great deer. I'm especially proud of Tyler for uh, holding out and waiting for the right deer to come by. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, visit us at PlumCrazyOutdoors.com to see more great videos. Thanks.